I'm Rebecca Popescu and I'm an art psychotherapist. As a survivor of cancer myself, I've been working in a semi-voluntary role at the Cancer Care Centre since 2016, where I run group programs as well as individual sessions. I also have my own private practice called Adelaide Art Therapy and I'm a lecturer at the Icon Institute of Australia where I teach art psychotherapy. So based on the popularity of last year's program, The Hero's Journey, we're going to be running it again in 2018, which is very exciting. In fact, it begins next week. So if you are interested, if you know somebody who might wish to do this course, please call the Cancer Care Centre soon to book a place because numbers are limited. So I just thought you might like to have some uh, useful information about the course. And I wanted to share with you that uh, for, for people who've been through extreme hardship or trauma or you know, the life-threatening illness that they may have been going through for some time, uh, bookmaking and storytelling can be an extremely cathartic method for those people to share their stories in a different way and to feel as if those stories have been fully witnessed and listened to by the reader or the listener. So this creative process can also hold the keys to great change because the writer, once they've written and, and shared their story, sees him or herself in a different light, in a way that they perhaps may not have ever realised before. And this can, you know, help them discover great inner strength and courage and perhaps also acknowledge the resources that they did have within themselves and around them during times that seemed quite dark. So I've based the program on the work of Joseph Campbell, who you may have heard of, and Stanley Kellerman, who was also a somatic psychotherapist. And I've meshed the two concepts of the hero's journey along with embodied experience to create this eight week course in which participants get to write their own mythical or folklorish tale, if you like, of their experience of cancer. And not only do they get to write their story, but they also make their book from scratch. So that includes things like creating symbolic imagery for their illustrations, as well as pulping their own paper. And the paper is quite special because they may choose to include things from their cancer experience, like you know letters from the hospital about appointment times or pamphlets or perhaps little notes that people had written to them. Um, and also personal things like rose petals from their garden or confetti from a wedding that they might have attended. So in doing this, the paper itself takes on a deeply uh, personal quality to it. And as we get towards the end of the course, the participants will then come together and put their books together. We, we teach them how to sew their books into the spine of the cover that they've created for it. And then on the final day, they come together to share their stories with each other for the first time. And this is always a very profound and meaningful time for them. They can choose to either read it out themselves or to have somebody read it to them. But either way, it's a very cathartic and emotional time for them to be able to hear these stories, the similarities that pop up in the symbolism of the stories that people have chosen to write. So to give you a bit more on that, I've got a couple of the ladies here who've interviewed uh, with me about last year's course who want to share a little bit about their takeouts from the program. It was uh, good timing, a year post finishing chemotherapy and uh, it was a good time to reflect on the whole experience and where I was at at the time, what might be next for mm -hmm. me in mm -hmm. my journey. Even though I wouldn't consider myself to be artistic in any way, I really got a lot out of it, particularly I think being in a group and just seeing the different ways that people express themselves that was actually a very helpful and therapeutic experience. I think it was really 
an opportunity to find some expression of what had occurred, you know, the traumatic process of being diagnosed and then surgery and, and other treatment and how it, you know, it's so cliche, but it does leave you a, a changed person. So for me, it was an opportunity to put that amount of time and focus on me and spend that time with me in a supported setting with with professional guidance to reflect on how it has changed me. And did the program meet your expectations? Oh, it exceeded my expectations. The combination of art therapy with that element of the hero's journey and the narrative therapy elements combined Um, was very powerful. I had found it very profoundly helpful because of the whole storytelling aspect, not just the art. I was completely unfamiliar with the hero's journey um, and then through the discussion about Joseph Campbell's work and seeing how these stories are replicated in so many different genres then it gave a really good framework to put together all the experiences that had happened in a completely different way Mm -hmm. which really helped to um, reframe the whole cancer experience. I was a little dragonfly Mm -hmm. yes and that that had actually come to me um, when I was on a yoga retreat in Bali actually and um, we had had a, this, a very extensive sound healing meditation and this dragonfly came to me and ever since then, in fact, people had commented that they were following me around. I had a couple of different symbols and characters. So I was a woman who transformed into a fish to explore the ocean and then transformed into a bird, a blue wren, and then the final transformation was into an archetypal goddess character. In my story, uh, cancer was a storm that had come into the forest where I had lived, and it was a storm that, as with many storms, was quite unpredictable and needed some shelter from. So what qualities of the storm were shared with cancer? The unpredictable nature of storms and whether that there would be periods where it might seem as though it would be easing and then it would all come back again. So both of you chose storm for to symbolise aspects of your cancer, yet you wrote your stories independently of each other. In fact, I think that was one of the most amazing parts of the course was that as five women, we came together weekly to make paper and enjoy the art therapy. But privately, we were all thinking and penning our own very personal stories, not sharing it with each other at all until the final session And there was a lot of incredible similarity between our ultimate stories and yet vast difference as well. So I think it was, that was actually one of the most extraordinary experiences when we all shared our stories. Even though they were extremely different stories, the similarities, particularly around water, weather, flying, was actually quite extraordinary and I think it also helped to form a communal experience that we had actually, even though we'd all had our own story, in fact so much of it was really the same. Yes. I think when you are going through those very difficult experiences you can tend to feel that you have no control and that you are a victim to everything that is happening to you. And when you have the opportunity to write a story like that and see, in fact, that you actually were far more courageous and empowered 
in ways that you actually didn't realise at the time, particularly around those things that as well that had given you support that when you actually sit down and create a story with those archetypes you, you can actually draw it all together and so I think it actually was very empowering that you do have more strength than you actually realise mm. yeah which is very comforting for the future mm. in other circumstances that might come along yeah one of the powerful themes in everyone's story was fear and you know, how people represented that fear in their stories and how they gained courage. I think that was very therapeutic. And then just to say that it was interesting, of course, everybody's story is different. So these mythical stories didn't all have the typical happy ending. You know, some did and some didn't. You know, some stories ended with an acceptance of a situation where cancer is still part of their lives but they are coming to terms with it and learning to manage it and stay more powerful than it in their own ways. Mm. I think it's important to come to it at a point when you are a little bit further down the track from having finished your treatment or you probably still have some ongoing treatment but you know virtually pretty much finished your main part of your treatment anyway. The Cancer Care Centre will be offering the Hero's Journey course on Tuesday afternoons in March and April. The cost of the course is simply a donation to the centre as we have been lucky enough to secure a funding grant to run this program. Please call the centre on 08 8272 2411 to book your place as numbers are limited.